Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 807. I'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger said this famous line, I'll be back. This is the Terminator 1. Yep, the Terminator 1, the 1984 movie that started the Terminator franchise. This is a movie directed by James Cameron that's from Metrical and Mayo Pictures and Orion Pictures. I saw this movie on September 13, 2023 at SD Theaters North Day 14 as part, of the, as part of their Flash Fest Cinema schedule. So, I've only seen, well, this is the second Terminator movie I saw in Theaters. I saw the fifth movie, Genesis, in 2015. In videos, I have never seen the other five, but now I got to see the very first one in videos. <clears throat> so, disguised as a human, a cyborg assassin that is known as the Terminator, who is played by the legendary actor Arnold Schwarzenegger, travels from 2029 to 1984. His mission is to kill, kill Sarah Connor. Who was played, played by Winda Hamilton in the film. Sent to protect Sarah is Kyle Reese, who, plays, who is played by Michael Ben, ben, ben in the movie, B I E H N, who divulges the coming of Skynet. Skynet is an artificial intelligence system that was bought a nuclear holocaust. So, the reason the Terminator is after Sarah is that. Skynet knows that her unborn son, who eventually will become John Connor, will lead the fight against them. And will ultimately John John will ultimately win the war. And the Terminator is sent back in time to stop this from happening, and to do so he needs to kill Sarah. But Kyle Reese must protect Sarah at all costs. With the virtually unstoppable Terminator in hot pursuit, Sarah and Kyle attempt to escape. But the Terminator is definitely fast and smart. Oh, I thought this was pretty incredible. It was pretty incredible to see this for the first time, but also in the first time in movie videos. Like, this was a famous 1984 movie that a lot of people know, especially the famous line from Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. That was incredible. And so, the this is the movie that started the Terminator franchise and introduced the Terminator himself, Sarah Connor, and Kyle Reese. And so the movie does detail John Connell, who eventually becomes a way of part in the Terminator movies. Way becomes involved in the way of Terminator movies, but in the f this film, he's not really in it. But Kyle Reese knows about John Connell and Sarah Connell. Um, but the interesting part is who is John's father? Well, I will say this. It, it might be detailed a little bit in the first Terminator movie. I don't want to give too much spoilers, even though this was the very first movie, and this was a movie that came out almost 40 years ago. But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It's definitely incredible. And I think this is James Cameron's earliest, earlier movies. I don't know if this was the very first movie he made, but I think this was one of the very first ones that he made. Because this was before True Rise, or Titanic, or Avatar. <coughs> um, I think this might have been the film when where James Cameron might have been become more popular, maybe? I'm not sure. But, this is really a great film. And because it's a success of this film, that's bought a number of sequels. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Terminator 3, Rise of Machines, Terminator 4, Salvation, Terminator 5, Genesis, 
determining your assist don't fit. Now, oof, now it would be nice if the other Terminator films comes back, but I really like to see the. I really like that I got to see the first film then. I thought it was pretty neat to see. So that's my movie review of Terminator One. Please enjoy for me. That's my movie review. All right, goodbye.